right, guys. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this G Skyer telescope, model AZ seven zero four zero zero. You can see the website there. Um, my daughter got me this for Christmas. We're just going to get this thing opened up. We're going to check out everything. Looks like there's a stand here. We'll go through the book and we'll check out the skeleton the telescope it's the skeleton the telescope itself look at that it looks like some pictures i take of the moon very nice looks like there's a remote a couple different lenses this is the base and it's got a tripod with the g skyer telescope a little spotting scope and then the magnified one and it does attach to your phone so you can see uh, what the telescope sees with your phone. That's pretty cool. Now I think uh, by the picture, it just kind of sets in front of the viewer, your camera. And that's okay. Uh, finder scope debug. Looks like we have to put some adapter on the phone, get it all lined up. So it sets perfectly through there. And then you can use your remote to open your cell phone camera. Turn on, turn focuser wheel to make your field closer and press the photography button. So you don't have to touch it or bump it. You can do it all with the remote. Um, locate a distant daytime. First aim the main lens barrel at a distant target about 500 meters away, such as a chimney. Install a low magnification eyepiece to find the target, and then we can set up our our uh, camera. Note on using high powers, general observing tips, observing the planets. Look how close you can get. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Observing Mercury. Observing Venus. Mars. Jupiter, some of those are a little fuzzy, it looks like. Some of the closer ones are a little clearer. Maintenance and warning, and this is in German. All right, let's get this open. Okay, so in the box is this case, and there was a cleaning cloth. Let's get the case open. Zip all the way down to here, so it all is... Uh, Easy access. Everything's velcroed in there. You gotta get it out of this plastic rack. Give me a second. Alright, so we have our tripod here. Just your basic tripod. It does look fairly sturdy. Uh, I just like the fact that I have another tripod. I have plenty of these, but uh, it's the same setup as your camera. So you could use this for just a regular camera. There's a spotting scope, and these have caps on them. This will magnify just a little bit. Let me see if I can get this. That's what we'll, we're going to be doing, something like that. And then we have some brackets for the foam mount. There's some more pieces for the foam mount, specially designed for this telescope. There's a little funnel so that you can line this up with your camera and it blocks out the light at the end of this uh, scope. There's your remote, which says cam camera 360 iOS and I don't know what the other one is. Some C word. I don't know. We'll have to read the instructions on that. There's two um, lenses. They come in these screw type uh, cases. And there's a 10 millimeter. And the 25 millimeter, the big boy. Oh. K 
caps on those. And these screw back in. Then you have a setup three time lens. And these go in the end of this. This is your main thing. This is what's going to attach to your tripod. And your phone's going to get attached to this. This has a giant lens on it. There's a little thing that you can take off. And then there's this guy. Big guy. All right, we're going to put this together and then I'll uh we'll see what it looks like through the phone.
Okay, well, it looks like we got it working. Stay tuned. We'll try to get some nighttime skies and maybe check out the moon or Venus or Uranus or something. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button for this video. We'll see you guys next time. Keep finding the art and everything. Yeah. And as always, we want to thank all of you who come and watch our videos. Hit that like button and share us out. Please consider becoming one of our members. We want to thank our members. Time to Shine Homestead, Just Doing Our Best, Aerial Viking Ventures and Victuals, Roy and Becky's Travel, and Native Wild Man. We also want to thank our Patreon supporters, Mary Ranch, The Vineyard Chicks, and The Timbrook Family. All these links are in our description.